You'll see. What is this? You won't want me to spoil it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stars Hollow Dioramic History Room presentation. Please stand toward the center of the room and remember, no talking, no smoking, and please, no lewd behavior of any kind during our presentation. Hey. Just getting the lewd behavior out of the way before the presentation. It's the dawn of time. And whether you believe that a supreme being created the Earth, or in the more and more discredited theory of evolution, one thing's for certain, early man walked the land we are now on. And while no printed records survive, there's no proof that the first tools weren't invented right here in Stars Hollow. <laughs> Huh. That wrench is really getting him hot. I, hey, there's people. That's half the fun. Zooming forward in time to the founding of Stars Hollow, the very first people to live on this land, besides the Indians, was the Jebediah family. Good Puritans, they were led by the humble Reverend Ezekiel. With him was wife Louisa, daughter Harriet, and young son Joseph, born without speech. I wonder what that first conversation was when they rode up to their new home. Whoa, boy, good girl. You smell that air, mother? It smells like home, Ezekiel. <laughs> and look at this fertile soil, just a wanton to yield crops. It smells like home, Ezekiel. But what are the young'uns? What have they to say about their new home? We can run in the woods, play games, and be schooled at home. Hey, my divining rod is twitching. That means there's water aplenty. Better get inside, children. It's time for supper. OK, mother. I'm hungry. You hungry too, Joseph? Those stars, so bright. This forest, hollow. What name should I give this place? Hollow. Stars. Hollow. Stars. No, really? They're, they're gonna leave us on a cliffhanger? Sanitation in wartime. No one likes to think about it, but in Stars Hollow, that's all we thought about. A local manufacturer, Buffright, was the sole supplier of all things pertaining to sanitation and hygiene for our boys in World War II. <laughs> Remember their snappy theme song. Walk light, smell right, head held high with Buffright. Closed due to a dramatic drop in demand for its chief products, urinal cakes, the Buffright factory nevertheless afforded hundreds of Stars Hollow residents healthy livelihoods. The Buffright diorama. Sorry. It's me. Stars oh, I gotta take this. I'll meet you outside. I've seen enough. And I can't get enough. Over <laughs> Walk light, smell right. Remember the 60s? The town of Stars Hollow does what a headache. A veritable dark age culminating in a sit-in that gathered over a thousand freaks from the Tri-County area. I'm sure Hi. looking forward to work today. Billy, put your edge sketch away and come sit down. What's this? Right. Modern life in Stars Hollow. Great breakfast, Mother. Yeah, you've done it again, Mom. I just love serving breakfast to my family. And I Jesus! We have got to bring everyone we know to this thing immediately before the Nederlanders swoop in and whisk it away to Broadway. And did three bucks a pop. That crappy episode costs a hundred bucks. I gotta make a quick call. Maybe we'll go through again. <gasps> Once is not enough. 